it's a new day. It's a new beautiful day. It's a new beautiful day and you are here. It's a new beautiful day and you are here and you are loved. It's a new beautiful day and you are here and you are loved and you matter in this new beautiful day. Do you get it? You're important. You matter. You're here on purpose. You're meant to be. Exactly as you are. With all your <laughs> problems, with all the stuff that's wrong with you, meant to be. You're here on purpose. You're meant to be. And it's a new day. So welcome. Welcome, 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 beautiful soul. This is Morning Magic. I'm Robin. Um, your friend on this journey, sharing some heart and some beautiful light. I love seeing your messages here. Hi. Hi, hi, it's a new day. Did you know? It's a new day, it's a powerful day. Happy September the 1th. And you know what? You are the 1th we are all waiting for. Did you know? I hope that you really feel that. <clears throat> Guten Morgen, meine Dame. So let me say hi to you. I'm just gonna close the window. I hear the roofing boys next door. They're putting a roof on the mountain. They're working so hard. They're working so hard next door. Um, doing beautiful work. Hi, Miss Leisha. How are you today? Hello, Miss Maxine. How are you? Happy to see you again. Hi, Miss Mads. Hello, beautiful soul. How are you guys doing? They're working out with school and the kiddo? I hope so. Miss Josie, Miss Josie, Miss Josie. Thank you for your nice comment just a little while ago. Always appreciate your heart sparkle, your kindness. You know, you each have an energy signature, did you know? Yeah, and um, you know what? It's beautiful. Don't even have to have a chit chat. Can see your name and feel the vibes. So thank you for that. Hello, hello, hello. So Josie, thank you. Good afternoon. Hey McLean, welcome back. Hope you're doing well today. Miss Caroline, hope it's a beautiful afternoon over there. Did you grab some tea? How's the ankle healing by the way? Just want to know. Hi, Caitlin. Lovely to see you. How's that beautiful soul of yours? How you doing today? Deb, lovely to see you here. Hi, Shelly. Hi. Are you looking at me? I'm looking at you. Miss Melanie, Miss Melanie, how are you? Hola, mamacita. Hi. Hey, beauty. I see you in your beauty. Hi, Kara. How's Kara? Miss Anna. Nochmals. Guten Morgen, meine Dame. Friends. TJ. What? 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 This is like so awesome. Good morning, Tari. Beautiful soul. Hi, Jana. Lovely to see you. Summer's here. Summer. Summer. I got a postcard from you yesterday. So lovely. Thank you so much. I was hoping you'd be here so I could say hi and thank you in person. I swear, people who spread cheer are the best people to know. And I, that's all of us. It's so wonderful. Thank you so much. I have a hair stuck somewhere. 
that's me. It's it's in the eyelash or something. <sighs> Miss Amanda, Miss Amanda, good morning. Miss Amanda, you have a beautiful new song dropping today. Did you know? Did you wake up excited? If you don't know, friends, Amanda is a beautiful musician on top of <laughs> goddess, artist, gardener extraordinaire, beautiful soul. I hope you will go check out her new music. Beautiful. Thank you. So worth it. F powerful full moon energy from Miss Alicia. Yes, feeling it. Friends. <laughs> es freut dich, wenn wir Deutsch sprechen. Well, ich spreche Deutsch sehr oft und ich, 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 what? I don't know. Huh. You know, I grew up speaking German. I gotta find this hair, you guys. Where is it? I grew up speaking German. I grew up going to German school and um, going to Germany, staying with my family. Forking shift. This is gonna just have to be, the oh, maybe. Oh, I got it, thank you. If anybody helped me with that, thank you. Um, I grew up speaking and my mom, it was so important to her that I grew up speaking German and going to German school and seeing my family and traveling there. And you know, that was really a saving grace for me. It really, really was amazing actually. And I still remember the day my mom died. Um, why am I telling you this story? Well, it's TJ's fault. Um, <laughs> just kidding. No, thank you. Uh, an aunt of mine called, she's an astrologer. She's no longer alive, but she was an astrologer and a tarot reader. This is the line I come from. And also, you know, the excommunicated one in the family. And she gave me a pair of hot pink suede pants for my 16th birthday and white cowboy boots sent them to me from Germany. They were always so fashion forward. But she talked to me in German. Um, she called me on the phone after the funeral and she talked to me in German and I remember feeling like, I'm so glad I have these roots and that I understand what she's saying because a lot of my family didn't speak any English. And she talked to me about my future. I was 26 at the time and she talked to me about my future and she talked to me about the marriage I was in at the time, married to a German guy living in Germany. And she said, um, this is not a love match. So you can go now, you can go now. And I was like, what, I can go now. But she was right. Like three weeks later, right. Everything she said, amazing. Tante Gita. Brigitta, amazing, beautiful woman. Don't know why, but there, there it is. The story's out there. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. So I love seeing you guys here. Um, good morning, Amy. Glad you're here. Hi, Shelby. Good. Mad's good to hear it. Caroline, I'm so glad to hear it. That's great. I didn't know you had a daughter. That's beautiful. I'm glad you're doing well. Yeah, you know, but how cool that you wanted to climb a tree, right? The healing is happening. Isn't that gorgeous? The body is so amazing. <gasps> you sent me a gift too, Summer. I am spoiled. Hi, Melissa. Yes, Amanda says, I woke up slightly fearful, but staying in the positive vibe. So let's talk about that today. I would like to talk about that today because a lot of us wake up in the morning fearful on a day that should be a big celebration. What Can I ask also, why do your clothes have all of these tags? I feel like we could play cards. I just was like, what is scratching me here? Okay. We wake up and greet the day. It's like, oh shit, oh no, oh God, you know? But 
I would like us to have a redo. Um, let's have a redo. So again, you know, we're celebrating. What are we celebrating today? You, you're here, all of you, you're here. You're live. This day is beautiful. This possibilities around you are endless. I posted this morning um, another stellar sun, sun shot of my kitchen window just for a moment because it's all gray again. It's amazing just standing there. And I said, I, I would love one of those great with all the rays that come out. And I got just one. But love is always making its way to you. And when I say love and light, you know, I'm not namby-pamby by any means. I'm talking about the forces of the universe that create worlds, solar systems, galaxies we never even know about. We'll never know. Do you get that? We'll never know how much is out there. That energy is trying to support you all the time. Trying to support me all the time. Go like that all the time, all the time all the time do it all the time it's coming in it's coming in it's coming in and i guess it's like changing the channel you know you know i struggle with stuff like this too so i'm just sharing like what i'm working on i'm not giving anyone advice or being that annoying bossy person i'm just saying what i'm receiving and working on for me um it, let it let love Take us through the hours, like Michael Jackson saying. Let us be supported. Let us be hugged. Let us be <laughs> adored. I'm watching an adorable squirrel doing something adorable <laughs> right now. <laughs> ah, you know, let it support us. So even if we wake up and go, ah! you know, because it's normal. I do it too. I have moments. I think it's maybe the ego just trying to grip, 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 grip grip the ego doesn't like how great you're doing and it's like oh hi excuse me please remember please remember be scared Jeff is texting me <laughs> number one husband is sending texts he's not home today but he sends his love he did say tell my posse I say hi I love how he's more and more you know including himself here. So, yeah, it's so good to wake up. No, I woke up afraid. And then we can decide. We can make our decision for the day. Yeah, love seeing all of you here. Yeah, mandamarble.com. And she has an ID here, Manda Marble. Right? You have like three accounts, don't you? So, thank you for... I'm just going to post our little title today, Little. I call everything Little. Um, thank you for being the inspiration here. You know? Yeah. Okay, Kim. Kimberly. Do you like Kim or Kimberly? I will try to remember. Melissa, are you here? Really, really? Okay, TJ, Shelly, hi. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you. Interessant for real, Anna. Tante Gita, I'll see if I can find some pictures of her. Amazing. She always had that really cool. I kind of remember during the flock of seagulls phase. You were just a puppy. But. She had amazing hair. She was so cool. You know that one. You're like, damn, that's who I want to grow up to be like. You know? Just so, whoa. Thanks, Summer. Good morning, Amy. Good morning, Stuart. Amy says, I woke up after having a rough night running room to room, consoling, screaming children all night. And I thought... I get to choose. That was my first thought, and it made me so grateful for this group. Whoa, baby. This is how we know the magic is happening. You know, and I mean magic. You know, it's just a sweet word. We say for the healing energy. Could we please have a sip? I am like Chatty Cathy today, and uh, 
this coffee won't wait and it's a pinch pot and I see there's a little spigot just waiting to pour all over my belly so did I already no not yet cheers you're beautiful that's the cheers I wish you could see the mischief these squirrels are committing together right now. I think it's so interesting how when you have um, nights like that where you're going from room to room to room and um, did you hear it? Let's kick on that compressor people. It's getting hot. And you can have a story, or like you're taking care of somebody. When I, after Jeff has a treatment or surgery or something, and I'm like in it all day, all night, and I'm alone, and you're alone. I mean, you know, I get it. The story is everything, is what I'm thinking. The story we tell is everything, and what we're Lead, being led by is our own thoughts, but it feels like it's out outside of us. But the truth is there's nothing outside of us. Our perception is really coming from in here. One more adjustment. <laughs> so, you know, kudos. That's really good to hear. <laughs> That's really good to hear. I didn't decide it would be a hard day or that I was exhausted. I get to choose. And that's, you know, where some of us are studying the Course in Miracles together, the rules for decision. You are welcome to join us, you know, just like you can look it up online, type in the rules for decision and read it. It's very, it's good. You know, the wording, they always make things complicated, but the wording is what it is, but the idea is, you know, I decide. I choose the feelings. I choose the view. I choose the story. I choose the outcome. I choose the perspective. And, you know, for some things, a lot of us, we don't like it. We no likey. We don't want to be uh, the one who chose. We don't want to own that, but it's better when we do. It's better when we do. Okay, Kim, I got it. Roger that. You're welcome. I try and ask. I know a lot of us sign up with our names and it's not that way. You know. <laughs> Sarah Goot. Good morning, Miss Allie. Miss Allie. We used your blankie last night. Jeff and I cuddled up on the couch together in here. And we talked about you in the good way. Josie says, big love to you, Amy. Remembering those times not long past. Yeah. Hey, Lexi, good morning. You know, I, <laughs> me too. Our kids are 30 and 27. And I did it every other weekend and sometimes for like a, you know, a month on or a week on here and there <laughs> me too I'm still remembering I'm still remembering Jeff I'm still remembering but you know again it's it's all down to how we choose the story we tell and the way we feel put upon and the beautiful thing is you know something I appreciate about myself anyway I'm willing to look at my part in things and I got a few stories that really are still working themselves out. And I tell you what, when that story activates, things are hard. Things are difficult. <laughs> things are, you know, like the worst they can be. And then everything goes down really cockeyed. You know, it's just really challenging. So I don't know what your common story is. You know, let me know if you think of one common denominator some of what Amy shared, like what she didn't choose, like, yeah. People never, never let me alone. I never get, um, yesterday I was saying, people never thank me. 
that was an old story of mine for a long time and I manifested that big time. People never say thank you, people never appreciate, people take me for granted, you know, and then one day when I started really waking up to, I'm responsible for that freaking story. Um, wow, you take a 360 in your life and you're like, yep, I'm surrounded by people who don't, who take me for granted, who don't appreciate me. And that's really, I really began to work on that. Somewhere around like my 41st birthday, it just really hit me. I'm 51 now. <laughs> I hope you won't be as slow as me. Uh, I hope you'll learn from my, you know, I'm not going to say mistakes. Happy full moon, says Stuart. Yeah. Caroline, your kids are 30 and 33. It, it goes by in a flash, and it is so weird because you're with them, and you see them, and you still remember them, don't you, as that little, 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 little. Bye, Josie. So today, what's the intention for yourself today? That's what I wanna know. Did you wake up? Did you hug yourself? Are you practicing how, deciding how you want the day to go today? You know, it's so easy, my friend. I don't need to tell you this, do I? That you see something or you read something or somebody you follow says something in a way. I was. I really enjoy Marianne Williamson. Honestly, I do. She's been a huge light in my life. I've seen her talk. I've gone to see her talk a couple times. And, you know, the thing is that sometimes she's a downer for me. She can be a downer. It's not that I can't handle the world events and the news. But, um, honestly, it feels like there's an intention to get people to really wake up in a way that's like pointing to how bad things are, you know? And it's like, I don't know, it can be a bummer. I don't know if I explained that well, but, and bless her. I mean, she is remains my huge teacher, but I noticed this like little, little thing, what happens for me is I read it and I feel sad. And if I'm not careful, I can go into that energy. You know, if I read the comments and I can go into that energy, it happens very easily. See, we can be, um, we can be affected by those things. So just remember, you're always deciding. You're always in accord. You're going into agreement. Like Paul Selleck says, you're going into accord with what you're seeing. So make sure. It's all right. It's a yes for you, you know? I hope that makes sense. Mads says, a story that started and continued from childhood. I'm less than. I'm not important. I'm a mess. That story was reinforced by a court-appointed person of all people. I know she's wrong, but I'm a mess. I'm a mess. Let's stay with that, Mads. Let's trust you shared that for all of us. Um, you know, it's so easy. And, you know, let's hug ourselves. If only to connect a little more deeply. Each of us has a story like that. I'm a mess. Or so-and-so in my life is a hot mess. My spouse is a mess. I'm married in a mess. My marriage is a mess. This is a mess. Let's hug ourselves. I know who I am. Is something you can say to yourself, Mads. I know who I am. I know who I am. I know who I am in truth. I know who I am in love. I know what I am in truth. I know what I am in love, and I know how I serve in truth, and I know how I serve in love. You are here, you are loved, all is well. 
Um, I grew up with a mom who would say, there's something wrong with your head. She would do this or she would do this or in Germany they do this, you know. And she would do that to me on the daily. And I grew up believing that. I grew up believing that, you know. Um, yeah, so uh, it's easy, when, especially when a professional is involved. But honey, you have to know, this is your strongest opportunity to take your own hand. Sometimes I tell people, put your hand here, this is your hand, and this is my hand. And you don't have to do my hand. I'm not saying that, but if it feels good, do it, please. You're welcome. And if not, this is the hand of God. This is the hand of Glinda, the good witch, you know, whatever. But, you know, let's make our way out of this space together. Let's walk out of here together. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. Does anyone else need to hear that today? You're a good girl. You're a good daughter. You're a good mother. Yeah, there's always going to be, pe you know, there's so many people who don't like me, Mads. There's so many people who, um, last year, a, a really big healer. I don't know how to say it, but somebody in the healing world who's published books and um, done a lot, has a very big following, sent me a note were connected, sent me a letter, sent me a note, and said, I'm really concerned about the way you're taught, you, you teach about ego and you're creating, har you're harming people with the way you teach. And it went in like a sword, you know? Like I felt afraid and like I don't belong and I don't have, I shouldn't be here, I shouldn't be doing it. And just like you, Right then, I recognize all my life, though, that's been the story. I've carried. There's something wrong with me. I'm not as good as everyone else. I'm not important. I'm not special. I'm not smart. I'm not, um, I don't have a right to be here like you do. And it's, it's, it's so easy to stay angry. Here's the thing. Amy was talking about, Amy Church was talking about choosing a little while ago. It's so easy to stay pissed off and hurt and angry at that person who sent the letter or the court appointed person who gave that impression or made that statement or wrote that in the file, whatever it is. The easiest thing to do is to lay down and die. The easiest thing to do is to say, I am never going to get out of this. I'm never going to be okay. Right? It's so unfair. Breathe with me now. That's easy. That's the road we've built. That's the groove we've made all of our lives. You guys, all of us, let's, if you're here and you're listening, think about your own stuff. We can be a support to one another, but let's, we do it best by choosing to walk together in our own stuff and emerge together, you know? So we hold this energy and we say, there's got to be a better way. I'm open to another way. We don't even have to know. You know, the mind thinks, I have to know what the other way is. It's, uh, and then it sits down. The mind sits down and says, I'm confused. I don't know. What? I, I don't know. I'm overwhelmed. It's overwhelming. And that's actually the ego saying, oh, yeah, come back over here worthless, not as good as, not important, not special, dumb. You know, the person who wrote me said, you are toying with people's um, 
yeah, I don't want to call it, I don't even want to call it back in my memory. It was so upsetting, so scary. Like I was being cursed, you know? Come over here. There's just another way. I don't want to do the old way. Help me see it. I am willing in this moment now. In this moment now. I'm going to pull a card for us too. Just while we're hanging here. In this moment now. I'm open to another way. I'm smart. I'm beautiful. My heart is in a good place. I'm healing. We're all healing. Yesterday I was talking about how um, Jeff had said on the podcast, you know, we're here to live the life we're in. Not to keep, in a way like saying, not to keep dreaming about something else, not to keep denying who we are, denying what is. We're here to live the life we're in. And some of that is, you know, this stuff we're talking about here. Not the ego version, but to find the strength, find the, find the strength, find the truth. The light has come. Today, the time of light begins for you and everyone. It is a new era in which a new world is born. The old one has left no trace upon it in passing. Today, we see a different world because the light has come. And funny enough, I posted this in my stories today. Such a beautiful, the light has come. And the lesson says, you are healed and you can heal. What if we could turn around and heal that person? You know, by helping them see that they were wrong. I still remember being at my dad's funeral. My dad, bipolar, um, amazing guy, but really undiagnosed for much of his uh, adult life. In and out of prison. In and out of mental hospitals for his own mental health. Um, married four times. I'm his only kid, though. It's kind of interesting. Uh, so misunderstood. I still remember the day. We had a beautiful service for him. This was the only time Jeff flew since 9-11, by the way. Uh, he got on a plane to fly for this thing. And um, my uncle, who was such a shit all these years about my dad and such a downer. And, you know, my dad would call me crying about our this uncle. Why doesn't he have my back? Why doesn't he see the good in me? The way we carry hurt, we're so hurt because people don't get us. People don't have our backs. And I would say, Dad, it's okay. You know, I see the good. I see your beauty. <laughs> Miracles are seen in light. You can't have a miracle, a shift in your awareness. You can't have one if you're in the dark disco. If you're attached to that heaviness and it's, you know, you're in that, why? We all go there. I go there. You know, sometimes hourly. It's okay. It's not the point. We're not, nobody's taking score here. But you can't come out of that until you're in the light again. So we're at the funeral. <laughs> Only you can deprive yourself of anything. Don't oppose this realization, for it's truly the beginning of the dawn of light. Don't oppose it. I oppose it. I fight back a lot when I see stuff like this. You want to say, fork you! Course of Miracles! Yeah, so we're at the funeral in the front row. And, you know, we're in this church of people who loved my dad. And people called him Doc. And, you know, my dad was quirky. I loved that man. We had a very complicated relationship. And 
So we played uh, Warren Zevon, Keep Me In Your Heart for a while. <sighs> yeah, beautiful song. Warren who recorded it knowing he was dying of cancer and gathered all of his friends and the last version uh, singing together. Like that's how, if, I, if I'm going anywhere and I know it, that's how I wanna do it. My uncle leans forward and looks at me looks me in the eyes and he says oh my god I had no idea this was your father I had this moment you know like I f you ever feel that you're right there I have a sword on one hand I could have just run him through for all the years for all the things for all the hardships. But you know, in that moment, that's when I, I, I rose to that place of just saying, you know, whoa, no. We're all walking together and we're all waking up. Isn't that true? So Amy, uh, Amy Beeson, I'm reading that. In this moment now, infinity is here. All possibilities exist. All opportunities are now. And that's what I remind myself. You and I have a few things in common there. Let's be here now. Let's do it now. <laughs> pulled cards through a morning magic, but this is really fun. In my defenselessness, my safety lies. I don't need to defend myself. What happened, happened. And even what happened is open for interpretation. You know, so many times, this is true for me. This is why I'm in, I have a healer, you know, and I'm in, sometimes I'm in weekly sessions with her because I'm going through stuff. I don't understand my, what happened. I don't understand my behavior. I don't understand my interpretation of myself. And I need somebody else to stand with me and say, uh-uh, mm-mm, no, mm-mm, no. You know what I'm saying? So if we don't defend, we put down our arms. We don't defend ourselves. We're good. There's more possibility of reaching the light, the healing, the joy, whatever it is we need to access in that moment. And this one says, it's not danger that comes when defenses are laid down. Like I put my sword away at the funeral. I didn't really have a sword, but you know what I'm saying? Like I could have, whoa, that moment of power. When I looked at my uncle and I thought about all the years, plus he was just, he was a piece of work, that, that guy. I will say that to you. Um, so, but you think, I'm not gonna put down my defenses. I need, I need to be on my guard here. It's not danger that'll come to you. It's safety, it's ease, it's peace, it's joy, and it is God. You know, we can't, and you don't have to be religious. I'm not here to talk about that. I don't care about that. Um, the light of creation, the light of what you're here to serve other people with your love, with your love. You're here to help the rest of us. You're here to help me. That's what I'm talking about. Gotta send him some love, Mads, even your ex. Gotta send him some love. You got to ask in a way you don't have to love his behavior, but um, you know what I'm trying to say, right? If I need to make you the evil one, I'm locking myself to it forever with you. I'm burying us both in that grave together and I'm taking that poison 
don't know if it was Carrie Fisher who said, uh, I don't know who said that. Revenge, resentment is a poison I take, hoping to kill you, hoping to affect you. Let's practice. Yeah, Amy, you're good at knowing your truth and staying with it. Be proud of yourself. It's not about how many moments that you really want to throw something or scream or do something different. The power is that moment where you recognize the surge is rising in you and you're not doing it. Wow. I mean, do you guys get how big that is? Mads, don't apologize. I think you do the best you can in the moment, Amy. Hindsight is a wonderful thing, but it lashes you with guilt. And we don't have, you know, guilt is really false energy. When we feel the guilt, we can say, this is false. This is an opportunity to love myself right here. Yeah, change the narrative, Summer says. Yeah, Stuart says, Mads, you didn't hijack. You sparked the perfect message. Make sure you're taking this in because if you go away apologizing and feeling bad, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to be over in the ego going, I, you need to receive this today. It came through for you. I am affected by my thoughts, damn it. I'm affected by my thoughts. Seek to change your mind about the world. What you see reflects your thinking and your thinking reflects your choice of what you want to see. You know, just like, let's work on this, my friends. Everybody here is worthy and deserving of love and support and attention and time. Yeah. It's not, Stuart says, it's not a curse. It's a blessing because you can share the story. Yeah, good. Let's take it in. Let's take it in. I love you too. Thanks, Lexi. I appreciate you too. The Buddha said that. Thank you. I'm like, Carrie Fisher, where the heck did I get that? <laughs> Yeah, the Buddha. Much better. But, you know, she may have been channeling that. Hi, Carrie. Thank you, too. About my dad. My uncle. My uncle. It's kind of funny, because then after the funeral, he sent me a bill for the estate. Of his own brother. Resentment goes deep. And um, funny, funny, interesting, interesting resentment goes so deep that he billed, sent a bill for the estate of his brother and to me. And um, it came and I was like, oh yeah, here comes this ancient hatred. I'm not going there. Okay, I guess our cards are done. Those were, those were good cards today. I... I'm not going with that ancient hatred. And what's interesting, I wrote some about this on the blog, um, by the way. I think it was like our dads were on a journey too, if you search that. Like that week, I got a one of those cash dash emails that said, we found some unclaimed money, you know, check in here. And you're like, yeah, yeah, it's spam. No. It was my mom's estate. My mom died 10 years before my dad. And um, she left. This is so interesting. There was a $40,000. You're like, $40,000? $40,000 unclaimed something. I mean, wow. I'm like, who forgets about $40,000? It's easier than you know. And that was exactly when all was said and done. 
the money to close up my dad's estate. Um, his house was a total, you know, my dad, special guy, but he lived very, he had a hard life. So we had to fix the house up and do, we could have walked away, but we weren't those, Jeff and I are not those people. We felt like this energetic thing. We wanted to help make it right in love. And um, it was amazing. Every penny came from my mom's unclaimed estate. And my mom and dad had big problems. And all through my life, there was resentment there too teaching me. I mean, my dad left before I was born, but um, teaching me to take sides, teaching me to be loyal to her, teaching me to claim my safety by never talking about my dad, never asking. I never got to ask questions because my mom would just blow up into crazy. You know, that's the thing. You, you even in your mind, the most evil person, if you have a child with that person, they want to know who their father is. They want to know who their mother is. They want to know. And it's okay. You learn so much through this journey, you know? Not all of it easy. Yeah. Hey, friends. Joining. Thank you. My mom and dad. Yeah. My mom and dad. Richard. She would call him Richard. <laughs> Richard. They really loved each other. They, they knew each other three days and he proposed to her at a dance cafe in Germany in Wiesbaden. They still, they sell the champagne at Trader Joe's. It's called Schloss, Schloss Biebrich champagne sect it's five dollars seriously but i never get a headache whenever we do anything special i uh i buy that one so you know friends this is the journey please don't you dare go away thinking i shouldn't have shared anything because of you all these things come forward everything you share don't do it you know don't replay it and say what the hell Sometimes I listen back to the podcast. I listen back to this week's podcast with Jeff. It was so good. Um, but some of what I shared was teetering on the edge of maybe too vulnerable, for me, even for me, which is probably saying a lot. And I just said, Robin, don't. I put the finger out to myself, don't. I could feel myself, but don't. 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 If the spirit is moving you, it's got to be good. If you're coming in the place of truth, if you're speaking from a place of love, it's got to be good and it's meant to be. So if you're not interested in healing, just do this in front of your face. And friends, this is kind of a big conversation today. So please treat yourself accordingly. However, this, I'm sure each of us has, <laughs> this orchid, each of us has little um, pointings. Allie, are you here? This is your orchid, your mom's orchid. It's so big now, I have to move it to do a healing. Um, I'm sure each of us has pointings and things in our own way that are just huge, you know, from our history. Ponder, have a ponder receive. Drink your water today. Maybe take a walk. Move your body a little. It is amazing, Amy. It's so funny, too. Um, my, my grandpa really didn't like Americans. This was after, you know, World War II in the 60s and a couple, you know, later, but that sentiment still carried. That dualistic thinking is, you know, <laughs> goes way back and um, my dad had to pretend to speak German through the whole dinner <laughs> and all he could say was yeah yeah <laughs> I can't even do it no like what if we were just done trying to suck up 
or get people to like us or get on their good side. Excellent. Thank you too. Thank you, my friends. I'm glad it's not boring. I'm glad it feels helpful. I hope in the spirit of sharing always, you know, I really think about why do I share? What do I, sh what do I share? Why do I share? You know, it's not just to tell a story. I hope that they help. I hope that they help. I hope that they help you. I hope that you take them and consider your own life. That one person you're still struggling to forgive, you know, it's hard. I think that's where I saw Carrie Fisher. Tosha Silver posted uh, last night. That's where I saw. Um, thank you. She said, this is that moon to break, to break your resentments, to forgive the people. And I was like, God, I, you know, I wonder who do I need to forgive? What resentment do I need to still release? And I'm really surprised, but there were names. Not that I think I'm hot shit. That's not at all. I was just really like, I don't really feel it anymore. But, oh yeah, oh yeah, uh-huh, there's a lot. <laughs> yeah, wow, you know. Thank you, too. Thanks, Anna. I like, I appreciate your um, encouragement back to me. Like this. I love that. It helps me. But none of us, please, none of us, let's go away and feel bad today. Please. Let's feel good. How blessed are we? We have a space together. We show up. We're choosing. We're committed. This is a practice. You could say this is your practice, your spiritual practice. You know what I mean? You're showing up. You're receiving. You're present. You're accounted for. Whoa. Well, proud of yourself now, right? I would like to use these a little bit. Thank you all. It's beautiful. This will help clear out any energies that feel heavy. So if you want to receive, just do. And if you're ever curious, inform yourself. Just Google tuning forks, healing for healing, and you'll see. amazing and I'll be sending you guys uh, some love mail happy mail I don't know if you get my happy mail but it's going out tomorrow morning if you're not on the list there's a link in the profile to join us there just love nothing weird or silly or pushy or just love once a week reminders Thank you, Shizu Camera. Weapon San. I hope you're having a beautiful night. Hope you sleep well. Carrie, good job. Thought about your dad some while I was talking today. Just all of it, you know. You guys, about 30 little birds just flew by the window. Amazing. May we be in our blessed blessed light today. Hug ourselves. I promise anytime you'd like a hug from me, you can say it. It's okay. This is the hand of Robin. I'd love to be there in person holding on with you. You know, you got this. You're amazing. May you be blessed. So I'm going to ring the bell and would somebody type now? Whew, we went the whole hour today. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thanks, Kim. Thanks for being here, beauty. Thank you to all of you for showing up. Thank you for all the people you you will help. Oh, we got a fast speed today. Thank you. All the people you're going to help in turn. Yeah. And always, I welcome your support. There's a link in the profile to do that. Thank 
you. Now, 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 now. Have a beautiful day. I see you in your beauty. I see you in your right to be. I see you in the light. You truly are. It's Paul Selleck. I know who you are in truth. I know what you are in truth. And I know how you serve in truth. You are free. You are free. You are free. I'll see you in the morning, okay? Bye. It's me, Robin, signing off.